Hey guys, Software here today, and welcome back to Software Inc. Today we're starting off with a little build time lapse. It's seven minutes long, so if you just want to jump through that, go ahead and do so. But today I'm adding on to the canteen that we built last time, and so I'm, oh, I'm building off to the side of it because I'm adding a lot more room for lawyers because we realized that we have like all these uh, tasks for them to do, and they're just getting stressed. And same with the R&D team, really. We should probably separate that out as well. Um, anyway, we're building a bunch of rooms for the lawyers. Every lawyer gets their own office and I end up building, I think, 80 little offices. I mean, most of them done by cloning, but they all have their own space. Um, there's tw uh, 20 per floor, like 10 either side of the building. So the canteen's in the middle, and then we build up a few floors, and we kind of do something interesting with it. But I thought giving them all their own office would be nice, just because we have so much money now. It's like, we might as well. There's literally no point cramming everyone into the same office anymore. There is no team leader office, though. I didn't actually do that. But I, I actually did also separate all the uh, lawyer teams out because I did originally just hire 80 lawyers for one team. Then I realized that that was going to be a problem because still, even having that many people, if you assign like five different tasks, they all get stressed out by it. So I decided to separate the teams into teams of 20. So every floor ha is a different team. Although I think I need to add another 20 because we have five different tasks to do, but only four teams. So we'll, I guess, look into that this episode. But for now, this is what we're going with. I think I did everything. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. But I did all the sprinklers and fire alarms in every room, which, by the way, that was a bug because that got fixed recently. I think it was a bug with um, if an object broke while the game was loading, like it's like the maintenance level or something was just it went down to zero. It could just cause a fire and. <laughs> The whole thing, the whole complex burst into flames. So that was fun. Anyway, that's fixed now, so that's good. I think there was a few other little updates, just a few little fixes here and there. I think there was a few new things, maybe... Uh, I did have a read through them, but there was nothing major that we need to worry about. But yeah, so every team has um, f like four bathrooms that I put in here because I didn't know what else to put in that space. So they all have four toilets, which is great because there's like four bathrooms for 10 employees, essentially. So there's definitely loads of room and they all have access to the new canteen, which to be honest, I actually realized uh, when I was playing because I, I did a few days of testing after building all this. And uh, I think we need to get some more cooks because they are definitely not keeping up with the amount of people that are using it. And I think because we currently have the utility rooms on this level, the uh, central heating and, and the air conditioning units. But I had to move the, the AC up a few floors anyway. And then the, there wasn't enough room for the furnaces. So we'll probably have to move them to the basement so we can add more of them and then also increase the size of the kitchen to add some more stuff in there. But yeah, we'll have a look at that uh, after the time lapse. Uh, yeah, so just adding another little office in that space because I realized having nine in each of these spaces was just kind of annoying and 10 was a much nicer number. So I just added that additional one. I'm thinking of turning, because they have that big hallway in the middle of each of these office spaces. And I'm thinking I might just turn that into like a lounge for every single team and then just put all the lounge sort of items in there because I figured that might make sense because because they're also separated. They have like less socialization now as well. Although I don't think that's actually a problem because they kind of just go out into the space anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just building the same thing over the other side because I realized um, if I'm going to start cloning it. I kind of just want to clone all of it at the same time rather than bit by bit. But then also uh, with all this cloning, sometimes items get deleted, which is why I mentioned if you guys notice anything that's missing, let me know because I, I might have missed it. I, I'm pretty sure they all have all the important stuff anyway. So that should be good, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and yeah, I kind of put in the like the hallway areas a bunch of like water coolers and vending machines and everything they kind of need uh, for the communal space there. So they should be pretty happy with all of this. Uh, I think we might need to look into doing more parking now because with all of this, I ended up hiring an additional like 50 employees, I think. And I don't know that we have enough parking anymore or parking that is like in a decent location like to where this is. I think we might just need to expand it all a little bit and add another, maybe, because we've got that sort of plot of land just behind this building. If we add more parking there, that might be good. Um, I just didn't, I guess I never really anticipated that we'd be building on top of the warehouse that we have here. And just, this is like now, I think the biggest building in terms of height. Uh, I don't think it is in terms of employees, because there's technically only 80 employees in this building, but because we have two full floors of like printing and, and warehouse, that kind of adds to everything. And then we have like the, the big canteen in the middle. 
I did also go through and make sure to uh, hire cleaners and maintenance and IT for this building uh, and do all the room groups and all that kind of stuff. I just don't think that's in the timelines because it's kind of boring. There's like a lot of stuff that I kind of just didn't record because it was just a lot of little tedious things. Um, I did have fun with this though. So this area here above the canteen, I did kind of like a little glass cube thing that it has a couple of meeting rooms in it. You'll see in a minute, like it doesn't take up the whole space just because, I mean, this whole building is a big rectangle. I did learn my lesson from the uh, X building that we did, that uh, irregular shapes are incredibly annoying to furnish. So I <laughs> just went back to doing like rectangles, but I thought doing this little thing in the middle would be kind of cool. So it's kind of separated out from the rest of the building. And then I turn it into like a couple of meeting rooms. And then from there, I put like a little grass area around it uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And actually this meeting room ends up having too many chairs because originally it was for the entire lawyer team, which was 80 people. But then each team is now only 20, so we might actually make that table a little bit smaller. Um, and then I, I kind of, we should probably revise all the elevators here, because I know we've got a couple in the canteen at the moment. And then we have some other ones that are going to go in this little front hallway of this building, because now it's technically separate uh, from the canteen, it's not part of it. Uh, so they go up the side there, but obviously they don't go all the way down to the ground floor. So I think I might want to look at that. I kind of left a few things for us to do in the episode because I didn't want to just do everything in the time lapse. Otherwise, then I'd be like, well, now we just sit and wait for uh, <laughs> software to be developed automatically. We do have uh, the operating system nearly out, actually, because I think, where are we now in the game? I, uh, we're in July and it's due out in December. So we're going to get that out soon. And then we're going to try porting everything over to it as well to make sure that's all good. And then I still want to get a gaming uh, team up and running. So we'll have to have a look at that. And we've also expanded the marketing, which I'll show you as well when we jump into the game. But yeah, that's I think that's pretty much the building. I just add like another section on top here because uh, that's going to be the utility room here. I just put it on top of all the meeting rooms because I didn't really know where to put it. It was originally furnaces and air conditioning, but then I realized I needed way more because this building, I think this building is bigger than any of the others potentially. In terms of floor space, so we needed uh, we needed a lot more heating and cooling. Uh, so it, yeah, it just didn't really fit all in that little room. So we had to sort of mix it up a little bit. Uh, and then I think I was just doing the room groups there, but that's it for the time lapse. So if we jump into the game now, we actually have a patent to, to file now. We did actually miss one. I think we missed the audio one. Uh, we didn't get that done in time. Yeah, yeah, up here. We missed the, uh, someone else did the audio before we could. So in case you just skip the time lapse, we essentially built here on top of the warehouse, which is the lower two floors. We built an additional four floors on top, which have room for 80 employees. We've got two meeting rooms here in the middle. Air conditioning units there. We've got trees down the side there, which I thought would look cool. I kind of wish they were a lot taller than that, but... <laughs> You know, imagine they were, it looked cool. Uh, and then obviously we still have the canteen right here, which I do want to expand and I want to move these furnaces. These are actually being used at 80% nearly each. So we definitely need to keep them. We're just going to move them down to the basement because we've already got a few down here now. We'll add a few more. Let's also pattern that uh, just so that that is ours. Uh, and then we've got uh, the lawyer team. So like I said, I actually split them out into different teams, uh, managed teams. Have a look here because um, having them all on one team, all working on five different jobs is too stressful, so that's why they're all split out into different teams. Uh, the marketing team is actually now 63 people instead of 30, so we've actually doubled it. Because the lawyers used to be in this building over here, if I turn on uh, the room labels, marketing now occupies this floor and this floor. They have a gap in the middle where it's the app team, but don't worry about that. I just didn't want to move all that stuff. So. They now occupy two floors and have a lot more people. So that should also help us out with all the uh, marketing we need to do. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to fix uh, this. So we're going to move, well, I guess let's jump into build mode. We get rid of these uh, furnaces. Also, I think I turned off my music in this game and I want to turn that back on. So let's go here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's good stuff. All right, so then, oh, I didn't mean to hit that, but I guess that's not a problem. That's probably a good thing. Uh, so then we're going to move these guys. Uh, just delete them, I guess. And I guess delete all this in this room. and Because we've just got to reorganize this. So we've got four chefs. And that's just not enough for the amount of people using this. Because I think uh, marketing plus six. Well, four, four of those teams are lawyers. So there's 80 employees plus 34, 104. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. We're getting a lot. And then it goes up to 170. No, 167. And then another 63. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of employees. There's almost like 200 employees using this little canteen. Uh, I think we need to make it bigger. 
<laughs> I think we might need to revise this. I'm thinking, well, first of all, maybe we can revise where these elevators are, because I don't like that either. So those are here, and that doesn't really line up with the ground floor at all. I was thinking we could maybe do something in the middle here. Um, but it means we'd have to change the design of this section to, to sort of fit them in here. And I don't want to do any more uh, exterior doors. So maybe what we could do is just wall off this section. And then we could get them in here somewhere. I'm just not sure. So if I were to do this... Okay, I can't build on the path. I've got to remove the path. Or oh, we could just leave it there. Hmm, I'm just trying to think of a better spot, an easier spot, I guess, to do it. Can we get them somewhere here? What if they were here? We have to move the stairs. Okay, well, let me move that. Let me move these guys. Because I think that's still, yeah, that's on the side of the building. So that would be, that would be more useful. We'll figure out all that in a minute. So if that goes there, right, this goes down here. We'll have to move those pallets, which I think should be fine. Although mm, I don't really want to compromise that. I don't know. I don't really have a good solution for this. Uh, unless we just move the canteen entirely, but I kind of like the canteen here on this floor. I do want to move the kitchen though. That was uh, that was a plan I had, but I, we can't, I guess we can't move it too far away. I'd want these elevators to go to where the kitchen is. Mm, yeah, see, I didn't... I, there's not really a good solution for this. Unless we sort of moved all this stuff. I also put that elevator back where it was. Uh, I forgot the undo is so slow. I don't even... Oh yeah, it did undo it. Just put that back and then that. Okay, that's back there. So that for, so basically for now to get into the building, if they're coming in the ground floor, which they can, they have to go in here, come up through the canteen, then walk to these elevators. Which is not ideal, but maybe I'll come up with a better solution later. But for now, I want to move this. I wonder if we can have a kitchen above somewhere. Just trying to see if we were to have an elevator shaft like here or something. Not the side of the building, all the way to the top, maybe? I don't know. Well, let's, um, okay, let's go down to the basement first of all. We're gonna place eight more furnaces, so let's maybe get on that before we forget about that. So let's give us, like, well, actually, you know what? Let me just, whoops, no, no, no. I was gonna say, let me just clone this room. That might be easier. And then we'll just join them all together. So delete that, delete that, and then just get a door. I don't know why I'm doing these as separate rooms, but whoops, not like that. It's gonna do that. There you go. Apparently that's how you get to the other furnaces. I don't know. It works though. I think they- do they have the little... Uh, yeah, they all have their little evacuation thing. Okay, so that's fine. We have enough furnaces. That should be good. Um, and then going up here. Right, so... I want more seats in here, because if you've got like 200 people... There's only 48 seats. I feel like it needs to be this whole space here. And then... Can you do... I guess the question is, can we do elevators in a one by one? Will it let me... Oh. Hello? I wanted this to be a room. I think I might have to delete, hang on, delete that. Yeah, there we go. And then put it here. Can I put this in there? I can. Although, something blocking the path. I wonder if they can go through it though, because it doesn't need to be accessible. And I don't really want it to be, because I don't really want them to use it to get anywhere. I guess what we could do, oh, why did I use the undo button? Is what if we did this? What if we gave it like a two? Okay, apparently I can't do that. Um, there we go. Give it like a two wide space like that. And then delete that because I'm going to have to do it again. Okay, like that and then merge these two together like that. Alright, is this just getting ridiculous now? Or is that going to work? Hmm, or I guess we could do a basement kitchen. That might be a lot easier actually if we just went down. That would probably be way easier. Hmm, yeah, let's maybe do that. <laughs> I think that's going to be the better solution here. Alright, so let's merge those. And then let's do the same over here. Just fix that. And merge that. Okay, cool. So let's go from here. What we're going to do, I guess we'll merge all of this space here. And I guess this space. So this is all going to now be the can The canteen. Nope, that doesn't like merging those rooms. Okay, well let's just delete that. Go away. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> that's gone. So that's now going to be the... Hello? Can I click that? There we go. Gonna be the canteen. Alright. Okay. No, no, no. I don't- it doesn't seem to like merging these rooms. You know what? Maybe if I do it like this. If I go like this, merge these two, and merge these two. Oh, maybe it's because these- oh, it's because these are in the middle, that's why. I reckon these need to be merged in first. 
Yeah, cool. All right, so these elevators are still in a weird spot, but I think if we move them to the back of the building, it'd make more sense. So if we just delete those and move those at, into that corner. So if we move these seats, not the entire room, please. Move those seats to there. Move, the, wow, there's a lot of people just hanging out. Oh, that's where, that's where the chefs went. Hey, guys. Move those to there. And then these elevators are gonna, oh. Oh. Oh, I guess the TVs are in the way. All right, just delete those. We don't need those. We can put them back later. Uh, we should probably have a door here as well. It seems like, because I think I'm going to add a parking lot here at some point. So, well, actually, oh, the other problem is if we have elevators here. We don't want them going directly into wherever the kitchen is. Because otherwise people will just walk into the kitchen. Oh, actually, I guess they don't need to be facing that way either, do they? <laughs> facing to the middle like that. Because if they're coming straight into the canteen, you can have them like that. So if those go there, we could actually have a little elevator shaft coming up this way. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to do, but I guess I'm going to do that and then just delete it. And then do this. And have a, We could do that. Hmm, maybe we change these meeting rooms. Do that, and then merge all this in together. Like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is going to work. We do this. We do... Do we want to do two smaller windows? Yeah, probably. So those come up here now, and then we just maybe change how the meeting rooms are done. Hmm. Because these are too big anyway, and that was kind of a problem that we had. So I think we just move on from that, do this. Merge these three together again. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Merge these three together. And get this guy here and here. Okay, so now that provides one elevator to the whole building instead of all the multiple different ones. So that goes all the way up. I guess the thing is, could we turn this into, could we have a meeting room here in the middle or could we have it to the side? What if we did this, hang on. And had meeting rooms on either side. It doesn't look great, but it would work, right? I guess also this could probably just be merged together. It doesn't need to be a separate room. So just merge like that and then have meeting rooms here. Because I think we need to have... Uh, let's just delete all the stuff that we have. I guess I probably should just... Let me just select furniture in the room and just redo them. Uh, we need 20 seats. So it's actually not that much. We might be able to get it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, it does that weird thing there. Maybe we should, if we move them over a little bit. Hmm... Or, oh, why did, stop, I gotta stop using undo. I say that every time, but I'm just so used to hitting it. All right, let's get rid of those. What about we do it like this? Because I think this will provide enough seats. So if we just do this and then go around, I think that should be, is that 20? Not counting at all, let's find out. It's 18, okay, we need a little bit more space. What if we go, hmm. I mean, I could shift the wall a little bit more, but I kind of don't really want to, do that. I mean, I could just move it closer this way by one, but it just doesn't look as nice. <laughs> That's the only thing. I guess we could just do 18. We don't really need 20, although it's just better because then we can fit everyone in. We could just do a, mm, I get, mm, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to do this. Oops. And then just merge like that. Oh, merge like, merge like, Okay, that really does not want to merge. All right, do that and then merge those two. Okay, let's just do this is what we're doing now. It'll work. I don't know why I'm, I, I don't know. I did, I did not actually anticipate to be doing this much building when we jumped into the game, but uh, trust me, all the other building I did before was much more tedious than this. So, <laughs> so this is fine. Whoops, okay, there we go and merge these guys. All right, so that goes like that. Uh, I'm going to select all the furniture in this room and delete it all because we need to kind of just redo it. So it's going to be like that. Uh, actually, I guess we'll just do like this space up here. Then we can just clone it down. Might be a better way to do it. So now that'll allow us to go to here and do the same over this side and then merge them. And then that'll actually give us just enough room for another table. I mean, it's not great, I guess, is it? Because it kind of like... Oh, actually, you know what? We could, um, hang on, let me redo all of this. So we do, just delete all that. Because now we don't have to do the double wide. If we go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, it doesn't need to be that long. It only needs to be eight, right? Is that right? 
Because that should be long enough. Although that doesn't make any sense. Why would that be long enough and not the other one? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. One more. So one more. That'll be long enough. Like that. And that should give us enough space. All right. So we've got the 20 seats there. Much better. We don't have any access to this room. I'm sorry. Let me grab this and duplicate these to there. So we'll do these two rooms and then we'll just copy and paste them. Let's go to nighttime so we can see how bright they need to be. Got a light here and there. 237, 250, oh, 356, maybe one there and one there. There you go. And we'll do the same on this one. Get these in. That. Nah. There you go. And then we need... Wow, well, you don't really need anything else, but I guess we can make it look a little bit nicer. Couple seats. I wonder if they... Do they sit on seats in meetings? I don't know. But we'll give them seats anyway. Why not? Little plant. Uh, actually, no, I won't put one there. I'll put one... Shouldn't have hit undo. One there and one there, because we'll do doors at either end of the room, I think. And then maybe... Should we get some TVs? Can I... I would like to put them above that, but I guess it's not going to let me. One, oh, wait, no, I want to do windows there. Ah, that's probably fine. That's really all we need to do. Okay, and then we're going to get a door on this. No, we'll do a glass. There and there, there and there. There you go. And then that needs to be glass as well. And then... Oh, I need to redo these windows. So I think we could just do... Actually, does that fit? If I do three now? They go three, 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 and three. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's much better. That actually works out way better too. All right, so if we just delete all of these and re-window it. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Sweet. Okay, here, all the way along, delete that one. I mean, I don't think we need this many meeting rooms now, though. I guess that's the only thing. We kind of have more space. I guess we can change it into something else if we need to. So that goes like that. We need the elevators in here, too. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So that goes to there. This will be, I guess, maybe the kitchen here and then the utility room above. But we'll figure that out. All right, so these rooms are looking pretty good. So let's go here. I mean, we could change how all this does. I guess we could have moved that forward so it was there, too, so it didn't have that weird indent. But, you know, too little, too late. That's just the way it is now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> it's just how it's going to be. All right, that's going to go there. And then we should just be... Oh, actually, let me put in all the other stuff as well. Uh, all this kind of stuff. I don't really know how many of these we need, so we'll just do a couple. I think that'll be fine. And we're going to get some here. And then this hallway should already have the alarm somewhere, I think. Maybe not. It looks like it's gone missing. It might have been on this wall, so we're going to have to add that back in. All right. Get those in. And then... Has this one gone missing? Or did I just never put them in here? Maybe I didn't. Because we definitely need those. <laughs> and you as well. There you go. And these rooms have them. Okay, that should be fine. So now, if we go this room, select the furniture, duplicate that, go down a floor to here. Hmm. Didn't seem to duplicate my little, uh, little alarm. That's so sad. Oh, we need to do heating and cooling as well. So we'll check that out. All right, select the furniture and duplicate. And it didn't get my little alarm. I don't know why it doesn't like doing those. What is this? Outdoor lamp. Oh, it changed the look of it. Very nice. All right, that's going to go there. This is now going to be part of this room. And then I'm just going to get some little sprinklers down here, I guess. I think we might need some more lights in here too. It's a little dark. Did we do some here? There we did. Makes sense. And then a window at the end. Let's do one big window. Oh, no, we won't. We'll do two little windows. Apparently that's what we did. And that should be good. So now if we go here, go to room labels. Are these, these are still marked. I guess this room really does not need to be assigned to anyone. Oh, it's none. And uh, this should not be a meeting room because that doesn't make any sense. So that's just going to be anyone. And I guess, oh, we don't have the same problem here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we what we could do, well, let's add doors to everything because we didn't clone those. Well, because um, we have four, well, we currently have four lawyer teams. We really should have five. That's the other thing. So we might as well assign these rooms to one team each, so then they each have their own meeting room. Not that I think we really need to... Okay, I don't know. Let me just click this room, please. Uh, I don't know that we really need to do that, but we might as well. Because we have four rooms, we might as well use all four. Individually. Uh, and then we should also... I guess we need a... Yeah, lawyers four. Okay, get rid of those. That's fine. So those should... Actually, let me check. Lawyers three, four, uh, two, and then one. All meeting rooms. That's good. 
These should all be connected all the way to the ground floor, not to the basement though. Oh, okay, yeah, we need to fix that for the basement. Um, and then that should be good. There's not, well, there are stairs are over here. There's not stairs near those bits though. I don't think these, these stairs don't go down all the way to the ground floor, but I don't think that's a problem because they do everything in this building and then from this floor, you could go over here or over here or I even think to this building, so it should be fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, so that's good. Then we need to do, uh, I guess on this floor, which floor is the best one to copy? I might just delete this room. Yeah. And then delete this room. Mm -hmm. And then just select these three and then clone them. And that's going to go right there. So another set of meeting rooms. Again, we don't really need them. Uh, yeah, we have no cooling. That makes sense. All right, then we're going to select this floor. Duplicate the whole floor again. You go there. And this is no longer going to be meeting rooms. So this... We want to keep those... Uh, oh, I guess actually we can keep these elevators here. Hmm. We can keep... Nah, yeah, well, this is going to be... Well, hang on. This, so this is going to be this space here. Let's just go through this bit here. Connect all this up how it should be. And then the same over here. Um, oh, those windows are all wrong in those two rooms. i got to fix that. All right, so that's going to go to there. I guess what I might do... So I don't really want this to be joined there. I think it's going to go like this. Well, I guess it could... Actually, you want to undo that. I guess it could be because... We don't, I mean, the kitchen doesn't need to be that big. It could just be one of these. We just delete some of these like that. So, we need to do a uh, room on the roof as well. Because we still need air conditioning somewhere. So that's going to go all the way up here. How many floors do we have now? I actually added a whole bunch of space. This is more than I, this is way more than I thought I was going to be doing. But I guess here we are. <laughs> so there we go. Right, that's going to be there. Then we need the air conditioning units. I'm going to go here now, on this floor. Can we go back to daytime so I can see? There's four of them there. Four of them over here, I guess. That, and then how many more do we need? Because that's still 140%. I guess the building's even bigger now. I didn't actually consider that fact. Uh, I think they can walk through most of these. Because most of, this, most of this unit is on the roof, so I think it's actually fine to just... Pack them in like this. All right, so what do we got now? 70%. Damn, that's a lot of them that we need. We've got 16 of them up here now. And then we need uh, some lighting. Somewhere, please. Like that. Okay, that doesn't fit anywhere. How does that not fit anywhere over here? Well, I guess that's fine. Um, all right, so that's good. Uh, it's actually not bright enough up here. It's only 263, but... I mean, that's probably fine. Hello, can I... Hello. There we go. A couple of those, get one of these. Oh. One of those. And then we need the elevator. Then we're nearly done. <laughs> Eventually. All right, so that is good. They have access to this room. And we need to do a kitchen here. We've got these rooms that have sprinklers and fire alarms. Good. No heating, actually. That's something I haven't done. And also, all these windows here are wrong, so we've got to fix these. All right, so I've done the little kitchen in here. We now have seven uh, fridges and seven cookers instead of four. Though I'm wondering if we should still get a little bit more than that. So I might actually add some more here. I was kind of... The idea was kind of like, they can just go to the fridge, go to the cooker, do that there. And this is kind of just be like a kitchen bench that's just on the other side for... I mean, just really just aesthetic purposes. It doesn't do anything. Done some sinks in here, even though, again, I don't think they do anything. But I guess there's some sinks for washing up if... They use them for whatever reason. I'm going to move these maybe to there. Maybe move this little fire alarm there. Move the vent over here. So then we can get the eighth fridge and cooker as well. Just so they go all the way along here. Uh, I mean, it's kind of strange because I guess... Because mm, it's just like it, if you're here to get to this spot, you'd have to go all the way around. which doesn't really make sense, but it's just the way it is. I think it'll be fine because they don't need to use that. They only need this and then to go down to the canteen. So that's that. We have a whole other floor here as well. So if we go to labels. We have no labels on this floor. These meeting rooms aren't even marked uh, as anything. So I guess what we're going to do, we need another team up here. So I'm going to go back to uh, the game. And... Oh, yeah, uh, I, yeah, shush, 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 shush. 
Uh, I think we need more furnaces now. <laughs> Actually, no, they're at 97% capacity. I think we should probably just... Oh, we also need to fix this because there's no way to get to it. So you know what? Let's maybe just delete this floor because it's just all wrong now anyway. We're going to go here. going to go that way. Hang on there. I probably should have done it like this so we could actually see. I think that's right. That looks good to me. So it's going to go here and there. And then this will be the furnace floor. Uh, hmm. Where do we want to put them? Should we just have a bunch of furnaces over here? <laughs> furnace room. I don't know, like, it doesn't really- it doesn't need to look good. It's in a basement, but I kind of want it to, because... I don't know. It should, shouldn't it? Alright, and then we get the nice utility lights in here. Some of these. Some of these. I don't know where everything's gonna go yet, but let's find out. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's perfect. One, two, three. We'll do three there, because we'll leave a gap- actually, let me just delete those. Leave a gap there, so there's like a little hallway at the front. Uh, one. Two, three, and then we're gonna need a bit more space over this side. Get, hello? Can, yeah, there we go. Uh, expand it. Oh, nope, that's not quite right. Nearly. Nearly there. Uh, like that. And one, two, three, four. Duplicate. Is this gonna be enough? I don't think it is, because I think that's actually not... No, it's at 83%. That is enough. It's just not as much as the air conditioners, I don't think. Uh, now, I'm aware there's no access to this room. I think that's what that complaint is. Yeah, it's not accessible. That's fine. Make sure we get the sprinklers in here in case these furnaces blow up at some point. I don't know that they can and cause a fire. I don't know, but probably better to be safe than sorry with all this stuff. Uh, we've got a door there. There you go. It's accessible. And that should now provide access to the entire building all the way through. So they can use those, but there's also elevators on this side, which I think makes sense because people coming across this bridge can then use these elevators to get around. Except not down, but that's no, fine. Um, Alright, so this is meeting room plus six, apparently. Oh, not meeting, what do I say? Marketing plus six. Which actually... Uh, yeah, that is right, I did deal with the lawyers. Okay, so it's just everyone that's in these buildings, really. Uh, although, shouldn't R&D have... Oh no, R&D's in this building. Okay, never mind, that's fine. Um, those, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so now... That's much better. Uh, I don't know how efficient having a kitchen up here and then having to get take the elevators down to the canteen is going to be. But I mean, I guess we'll find out. So we're going to move these back to that wall. We still have a little... Oh, actually, maybe we're not going to do that because we need to do windows. Yeah, because it is a little bit closed in at the moment. So what have we done? We've just basically done... Well, we've done these. So I might just continue that and then maybe just a nice big window there. Yeah, actually, I guess we could have had those vending machines there. That would have been perfectly fine. So these are going to go there and there. And then we're just going to do more tables, I guess, right? Uh, I did notice a lot of people were using these coffee machines. So I'm actually going to move them closer to- because there was people coming in from the other rooms to use these coffee machines. Which is also the reason I think I probably should... Um, let's move these back here. Probably should get these coffee machines to be in each of these spaces as well. But anyway, I'm going to move them there for now. I'll move these ones here. You can see there's someone actually using them right now as well. Now we've got four serving platters, but I'm going to get another four because I figure with this many chefs, maybe there should be more. Also, I guess maybe I should try and get them accessible from more sides. So what if we do... hang on. Because I kind of want them to be... well, I guess... I don't know how accessible they need to be. I guess it doesn't need to be that accessible. I think they just need to be... Uh, you know, close enough to everything here. So let me get these tables, get these tables, duplicate, they can just go here. Hmm, we can't really fit. Well, we'll do that, and then we'll do this. And we'll have to figure out what we can do that. So, so we can definitely get another table in the back corner. Like that, and like that. And then maybe we'll just leave that space open a little bit. Alright, so lighting-wise, how's this room doing? It's pretty dark by the looks of it. So we're gonna select this, and that, this, and that. And we're gonna duplicate these, move them back to there. I'm gonna need some more of these lights as well. I don't know why these have disappeared. Oh, I guess because we didn't have anything here before. Do that. We're at 400 lux now, so it's full brightness. It doesn't. The environment, the environment's not that nice in here. Got four coffee machines in the middle. Uh, let's get maybe some more vending machines as well, just around the place. Like, can we get? Not really anywhere else to put them, to be honest. I guess just in front of the windows. Sure. There you go. And then we'll get some plants as well. That'd be nice. There you go. Get some. Okay, the environment's already better. It's already exceeded what it should. So that's good. All right, so that canteen is now bigger. 
Uh, we just now need to actually assign the cooks to use it. So I think we need to jump out of this. We go back into the game. Hang on, there we go. Uh, it's overburdened. Is it overburdened or are you just saying that? No, it's not overburdened, it's fine. All right, so that's now on the roof. We've got an empty room there. We've got to go to the room groups because... Um, I don't know what we had. Well, we've got to figure it out. Let's go to uh, the, uh, that's the problem when this building gets so big. Let's filter by type. So we're going to go by cooks. We only have eight. And okay, these guys are marked in tower first floor, which is not going to be any use to us because they need to be working in that kitchen and in that canteen. So I might even do... Well, actually, I don't think we don't even have a room group for this floor yet. So let's have a look. So room groups. This is well, tower fourth floor. Let's select rooms. Is this floor here, which actually no longer includes the changed middle room. So we need to fix that. So add selected rooms to group. And this will be third floor. So we're going to do the same here as well. Although I guess that one didn't change for some reason. All right. Second floor actually includes all of them, which is nice. Uh, First floor does also include the change rooms. Okay, cool. So that is actually included. Uh, we didn't change it too much. We do actually need to go to warehouse. Because um, that I don't think will include these two rooms, which it should do. So I'm going to add selected rooms to group. Okay, so that's good. Uh, then we do need to go all the way up to the tower fourth floor. And then add a fifth floor. So new room group, tower fifth floor. Yeah, this, this place is getting big. Uh, so I totally did not think we would be doing this... Whoops. Fifth floor. I didn't think we'd be doing this much building in the actual gameplay as well. So I guess... I don't know. I'm not sorry about it. I mean, it's part of the game. But I just... I thought that the time lapse was kind of what I wanted to do. Then I realized once we got into the room, a lot of it had changed. So now, I guess what I'm going to do is do a separate uh, room group for this guy. And for the canteen. So I'm going to go... Room groups, new room group, tower, canteen. Uh, and that means we're going to have to have a separate cleaner and stuff for this as well because it's just not, they're not going to be assigned. There's not going to be anyone cleaning it. So we're going to have to sort that out. But anyway, so these clean, oh, cleaners, these cooks are here. So I'm going to get another four of them. Uh, and then these guys are all going to be assigned to room, uh, tower, tower, canteen. Oh, actually, you can just assign them to two things. No, no, I'll just do the tower canteen. There you go. Tower canteen. Uh, and I'm wondering if we should actually adjust their shifts. So maybe these guys all come in at eight. And then we have another set of eight cooks. So we just have cooking around the clock. They're going to be cooked. Uh, so one, two, three, well, four, five, six, seven, eight. These guys then come in at 12 and leave at four. And they're going to be assigned to tower canteen. Now the other canteen is not going to get that treatment, just this one. We're going to see what happens. So that's good. So they're all assigned. Uh, we do need to do cleaners, like I said. So we'll just get one cleaning and one maintenance. One cleaning, one maintenance. Now they're going to be somewhere else. We're going to have to go find them. <laughs> uh, cleaning, probably this person I just hired that's coming in at 12, which I shouldn't say. So it should be at 10. And then we're going to assign you to tower. Well, actually, we could just assign someone else. We could just assign some of the other cleaners to this. That might have been a better idea. Yeah, get out of here. So tower fourth floor. I'm going to say the tower fourth floor people also going to be assigned to tower canteen. Um, okay, yeah, that works. And then I guess we've got to do the same with maintenance. So maintenance. We only have 13 maintenance people. We don't have that many, which, which is fine. I don't think we really need that many. Now five groups. This is where... I've, so this is assigned to this building. Uh, assign rooms. So they're in the warehouse, the tower first, second, third, fourth, and now fifth floor, and canteen. Seven groups. This guy's got a lot to do. Dane Gomez. You got a lot of you got a lot of maintaining to do there. What about you? Are you on the tower as well? You are. Thought so, because you also had five groups. Are you guys? Where are you guys? I think I did two maintenance workers to each building was the idea. And I think that's fine, yeah. Okay. Right, so that's good. That's done. I think that's everything I need to do. Uh, so we've got the room group up here, right? Let me just double check. I did that, right? Select rooms. That includes the top room. It's hard, really hard to tell. I think I already, yeah, I did that. All right, so tower canteen count zero. Oh. Why do we have zero in that? That should have that room and this room. Two. There we go. I think maybe when I redid them. Okay, cool. 
So yeah, the, just so that we get those specified correctly so everything hopefully works. Oh boy. All right, so now we need to make a new team. I manage teams. <laughs> Lawyer five. Uh, which I don't think at this point in time I'm going to actually hire the team. I kind of just want to do it so I can select this. Whoop, select this floor besides that room. And that room, I guess, doesn't it? Or, and that room. Just those. So assign these two lawyers five. Just so no one else comes and starts using these rooms because they shouldn't um, at all. So we've got lawyers three, four, uh, two, and one. And then we can do lawyers five in here, I guess. Switch team, lawyers five. And sign as a meeting room. And then we just have a spare meeting room in here, which is fine. All right, so let's unpause the game for a second. We have not even unpaused the game yet. Office magic is not making money, which is fine, whatever. Um, let's get rid of those. Everything should be coming to life. I'm hoping that this kitchen is now going to also come to life. I'm, I'm kind of interested. There is someone up here. So they are cooking. There's a few, there's a few chefs up here. Interesting. Uh, we can now patent our 3D tech, which is great. Research is also done on these two things, which is fantastic. Uh, yes, I would like to. And yes, I would like to. So lawyers, uh, I don't know who's not a, who. Can I see who has tasks in here? It doesn't show me. Because uh, I'm not sure who's still doing stuff. <laughs> so lawyers two plus, okay, that's confusing. Uh, lawyers four and two are working currently. Okay, so lawyers <laughs> one. There's got to be a better way to do this. <laughs> four, we had four and two, right? So lawyers three, so lawyers one, three, two, and four. Great, they're all separate. <laughs> so we have a few less R&D tasks now, which I think we have to wait till next year anyway to get more. So let's wait till tomorrow, because this whole thing should spark to life tomorrow. I'm really hoping to see this actually work. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how we go. So we have a lot, I don't know why this still says it's overburdened, because it's not. I wish I would just go away. I think I- oh, I can just right-click them. Okay, cool. It'll, it'll minimize, I guess. Um, we are still making money, which is good. We're in July 2004. Uh, we have- we've got to keep an eye on our actual tech that we're doing, our actual, you know, stuff that we're actually doing in this game. Uh, we are making Magic OS still. It's in beta. We should probably do some marketing on this. Maybe pictures, videos. Yep, send that to marketing. I don't know who else that was going to go to. Press release. Let's get on that. Uh, so let's get them to do that. We should hopefully get that done pretty quick. We have a lot of people coming in today. Uh, a lot of them coming into this building. A lot of them walking through the canteen. Oh, it's the chefs, that's fine. To get to those elevators. Someone getting some coffee, that's good. So the chefs are gonna go all the way up. They're gonna go in here and start cooking. Which they are now. Oh, look at that. And they can come down to the canteen and fill up these plates. Oh, yeah, that's better. Because before what I was seeing is a lot of these just being emptied out. Cookers aren't able to find a stove. Oh, that is because they... Alright, so they arrived just before their shift starts. Maybe we need an hour cooldown in between. Because the problem is we have now, I guess, uh, 16 cooks trying to use the same eight stoves. Uh, so, which is fair enough. So I think if we just do an hour cooldown between these guys, so if we actually get them to come in at 1 p.m. and leave at 5, that'll give them enough cooldown time to not give us that error every single day. Otherwise, we're going to keep getting that and it'll be really annoying. All right, so there's plenty of food. Oof, a lot of lightning going on today. A lot of stuff going on here. It's good to see that we don't have too- well, we have a lot of food. But I don't think we have too much food. Because it's definitely getting eaten. Um, a little bit less near the end of the day, but that's fine. And then that'll be cleared out tomorrow. Uh, let's release that press release. Uh, we have 300 followers. This- this operating system is- I don't think gonna do- no! Oh. Ah, oh, no, I wanted to say no, not release. Oh no, alright, well, it's now out. Man, I spent all this time... spent all this time not actually playing the game in terms of like, we were doing a lot of building, and then when I go to play the game, I accidentally release the damn thing when I was not supposed to. Right, great. So we've got zero net units sold, zero in stock, zero refunds. Oh, bugger. Alright, we're gonna have to order copies. Let's just order a whole- not that many copies. We will order a million copies though, because we need to have them in stock. And then we're gonna start printing. <laughs> I'm so annoyed by that. Which is the one I want? Maximum? Uh... How many copies would you like to have in stock before the print job is ports? Okay, 500,000. That's what we're gonna do on that. Uh, right, so we definitely need that to be marketed. I don't know if I started marketing. We'll give that 100, no, 250,000 budget. That's not 250, 250,000 budget. 
And then what we got to do, the core team, so the core team is now free. Uh, Office Magic is really not making money anymore, but we're going to keep marketing that. We're going to uh, actually reduce the budget on that. Let's go down to 50. No, let's go down to 25. Because what we're going to do is change the budget on all these. I don't know why we've got random values of money now. I noticed since one of the updates, it's kind of reset on my values. Because clearly we had 75,000 there, but it's kind of just changed it to 76 something. Anyway, so those are all reduced budgets now. Uh, we're still doing the patterns on those. We've got some automated stuff going on there, which is great. Oh, this is good. Th this is good. This is good, guys. Great. <laughs> uh, yes, I would like to file a patent. Thanks. That's apparently assigned to Lawyers 3. Magic OS. We're going to move that up to the top. So we can see what's going on with that. Um, minimize all those. Magic OS and Magic OS. I want to see. Those are the most important. Then, so now the core team is no longer actually working on anything, which is good. So what I'm going to get them to do, my releases, uh, our recent releases, like these guys, uh, which are, other, so Vault 4, Office Magic, Audio Magic 3, Photo Magic. So like these four, can I just select all four and just say port? Is app, what's app team doing? Are they doing something? I don't know. I'll give them all to core right now. Auto Magic OS. Is that going to do all four? Or did I just do one? Porting, I just did one. Okay, great. I guess actually if I look at the, our teams, uh, so tasks, who's not doing anything? The leaders apparently are not doing anything at the moment. Uh, everyone is doing something, except for the, like the lead teams and that team that doesn't exist. So, okay, that's good, that's good. That's actually what I want. So core team is going to work on that, and they're going to work on all the other ones too, because they only did one, which is kind of annoying. We're going to go port this one to Magic OS, port... This one to, oh, can be ported to a lot of stuff. Just Magic OS though, please. And uh, so we already did Audio Magic, right? Which was the one we already did? So 3D Magic, Photo Magic, Office Magic. We didn't do Audio Magic, we just did the first one. Okay, and port this one as well to Magic OS. And then we can always port more stuff later, but we're gonna do those for now. All right, we got so many freaking tasks in here. It is honestly getting to the point where this is just so confusing to follow. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm really happy with our building here and our little off-site server area. Oh god, the next whenever we go to a new day, it's getting a little laggy now. All right, Magic OS, 2.8 million. Okay, okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Did it make a profit? No, we've lost 20 million dollars making that. Hmm. Right. Anyway, that's fine. So we're still researching all this stuff. I guess we could put the R&D team on it if we really wanted to after these, because they're doing still two more things. Oh my God, it's just, I don't, I don't know where to look in this list, honestly. Like there's just so much going on. I think support is fine. I think support can handle all of these. So we don't really need to pay attention to those. I don't think. Oh my God, look how dirty this is out here. So we still got plenty of food left over. We might have too many chefs, but whatever. All right, so let's make sure we market Magic OS, please, because that's kind of important. Please, hello? Can we just get that to level level 10? What does that sound? Is that them placing food? Or is that taking food? I don't know. Alright, so they're, they're, try they're trying their darndest to market this thing. It's sparse. Tomorrow might be better. Uh, oh, uh, that uh, research is done as well. Yeah, we'll fire a, file a patent. Oh, somebody got 2D before us. Okay. These port jobs are actually going pretty quick, which is good, because then we'll start a Magic OS 2. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, th that pattern was actually done. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay, I need a, how do I filter? Uh, legal work, here we go. Let's have a look. This is, okay, this is gonna help me out. So those two, three are doing too much. So let's go none, lawyers can do that one, and lawyers four can do that one. There you go, that's better. Lawyers two, that's, that's what we wanna say. All right, filter, uh, let's go research. We've got a few research things still going on. Apparently patents count as research. No, there's only one R&D thing left. Okay. So just that one. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I see. I've, I've selected. How do I just clear it? Clear the filter? Can I just right click this whole thing? No. Let's go back to normal. Okay, cool. All right. Let me minimize support. Uh, we only have 19,000 active users. Oh, that is bad. I mean, granted, I've released this thing way too early. It's a complete mistake. Let's look at those port jobs. We've got we to pay attention to these because we got to get those done. How are these going? We got a release in February 2006 for 3D Magic. That's exciting. Exciting times. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. And another day. Oh, brings another little lag. 
<laughs> Every time we go to New Jade, like, has to work out what's happening. How many employees do we have at this point, actually? Because we've got... We've got a fair amount. Uh, hang on. Is this... Oh, I've got them. Here we go. Uh, control A, please. 451 employees. Not shabby. Not too shabby. That's not in cl Not in clouting? It's not in clouting my staff. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. Not counting my staff, which I have... 211 of! Dang! Alright, we got a lot of people. I think we need more parking. We're getting like traffic jams in my parking lot. I don't even know that was a thing that could happen in this game, but apparently it is. Um, Alright, so every day... How's this going now? Widespread marketing. 3.8 million! Okay, okay, that's better. Magic OS, um, minus 16 million dollars. Alright, <laughs> alright, it's not too bad. Let's minimize that as well. Zero queued support, that's good, that means we're keeping up with it all. Canteen's looking good. The lawyers are looking good. I'm happy with those guys. I might actually now go... Uh, I don't want to do... I do want to do more building. I just... I don't know. Building is kind of important in this game. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this and get them in each of these, like, law offices as well because I feel like they need these. Um, like that. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, there's five floors of them, but I d it didn't seem like there was that many. I didn't realize we had... I mean, it's, I guess it's a hundred... We have a hundred individual offices in this building, which is pretty impressive. So that's gonna go there. We also have water coolers, and I think we have vending machines in each of these, and uh, sofas. So what I'm now gonna do is select all of these hall areas, like I said before. So we should go... That should be four selected. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. That should be all of them, right? I'm gonna say, select, uh, limit room usage to lounge. And then that should also be limited to um, the teams already. So it should be like the Lawyers 5 Lounge, Lawyers 4 Lounge. So then hopefully they also use those spaces uh, to just hang out in and socialize. They all look like they're doing better with life in general now. They're not so stressed out. Um, I don't like... Oh, I guess because this room isn't marked as a meeting room. Well, yes it is. Oh, okay, so if we put these in here, they're just going to sit on the chairs in the... So the lawyers are going to go in and have a meeting, and they're just gonna be, there's going to be a cleaner in there. They're like, uh, do we need to ask this guy to leave, or...? <laughs> uh, office Magic. Hey, Office Magic's making money! That's great. Uh, finish the research. Uh, yes, I'd like to try and patent that. Uh, oh, someone else did it first. Man, we are not getting these quick enough. I'm just gonna get all my lawyers on that. Did we do- oh, I guess we did all the port jobs. I guess maybe that's why I was making money. Alright, so the core team shouldn't be doing anything right now, right? Core okay, what, what- why is this moving? Stop moving. Thank you. Uh, core team is on zero tasks. R&D is also on zero tasks, which is interesting. So, let's go ahead and, um, I guess because R&D is done, they've got nothing to do till next year. Let's go develop so- actually, can I automate? Am I managing the core team? Do I have uh, the automation thing? Support, uh, no not support, uh, leader. No, oh, I have no automation. Right, okay, so we can't, I guess we don't need to automate the core team because core team is basically just doing an operating system. So let's go here, go here, I'm gonna go make a SQL. Uh, Magic OS 2, great. So file encryption, user accounts, plug and play, multitasking. Uh, what is the red? Missing level, oh, I guess, do we have the wrong team selected? Is this, can yeah, let's go over here. Yeah, we got the 3D experts, core team, and also the, oh, and also the core team. There you go. Just the core team. There we go. That's better. Go back to one, please. All right. So then we're going to go widgets and windowing system, 3D networking, auto update. Now, do we, did we make a thing for this? M1. We did make a thing for it. Okay. So we can get this done in two years, apparently, with a 32.4% speed boost. How long did the first one take? I honestly have no idea. We released when did we start? Can I can I find that out? How long did it take? If I go to details, uh I guess what check level is in it, that'll probably also tell us, right? Can I make these windows bigger, please? It's really small. <laughs> August 2004 was released. When can I see when I started developing it? I have no idea. I think it took a while though. I think we've spent a long time on that. So let's close that. So that will get us, let's do Magic OS 2 on the same framework. And then this is going to be on the public server, obviously. 190. Same exact thing. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And then we'll do an M2 framework after this. Let's actually, let's make this one cheaper. 180. We're going to undercut. It's going to be great. And then we're going to market. I guess we could leave the marketing there. Very balanced marketing. 
Uh, publisher, none. It's just going to be us because we're amazing. I'm going to develop that now. Uh, and I'm going to... Oh, geez, so many things here. Move that up to the top of the development queue. There's a patent here. Let's unpause now. We don't need to pause anymore. Filter, let's go to legal work again. So we actually have uh, lawyers three. Lawyers two aren't doing anything. There's going to be a better way for me to manage this because this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I wish we could just have one team and assign them all to that, but I don't think that... I don't. I couldn't see a good way for that to work. Project management. Oh, here we go. February, March, April. Damn, 2006 is going to be one hell of a year for all these applications right there. That's good. Very, very nice. All right, we still need to get a game team. Oh, man. Somebody did system before we could patent it. This one's almost done for network. That's great. Uh, nearly done. Now, actually, R&D. Is there anything we can do? 2004. Didn't we already do that? What have we what have we been doing? Network 2004, yeah. Research system 2004. Didn't we we've got that right here. Can you just do it again? What's the point of doing it again? Because we just did, we just did all those, right? I think we only did 2003, but that, that was just the owner. Hmm. I'm not quite sure about that because we've already done the this is the 2004 one. Right, let's just wait till next year. So we're nearly at the next year anyway. Let's patent that one. Beautiful. Let's move that patent down as well. Uh, marketing. How are we going with all this stuff? 541, 41, Office Magic. It does it does turn a profit now, though, because we're not spending as much on marketing. Um, Magic OS is actually making a decent amount of money. I mean, we're still at minus 12 million, and it's not really sold that, mo that many copies, but it is doing okay. Uh, it is doing okay. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. How about this? How are we going here? 416 fixed, 418 verified. Uh, does that mean they've still got a bunch to do? I'm No, I think they've just done it all. I guess we just got a bunch of active users. So if I were to... No, let's leave the support for that now. I've not done all those ones yet. And we'll keep we'll keep marketing this stuff because it's all on this operating system at the moment anyway. So we'll keep marketing it. Magic OS 2 iteration is going very, very quickly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, I was going to do more building. I, I want to do more building. I want to get the game team in. Um, so what, I guess what, for the game team, I don't even know where they're going to go. <laughs> we've got all these buildings here. It's looking pretty cool. Look at this, look at this complex we've got now. There's company cars over there. We're still somehow making money. I, I don't, don't really, not even that much, to be honest. How much are we making on, um, licenses? Coaster Tycoon 3. We got, we got to get on that. We gotta make Coast Attack in 4. Oh, we need a game team. I want a game team. I think what we're going to do, we're going to buy this plot here. Okay, I can't see. There's a lot of... There is actually... Actually, they, that's what they added. They added an option to turn off the clouds. Which, I, I mean, I like the clouds, but they're kind of in the way. <laughs> like, I can't really see, so I understand. I don't know. Where, is it in graphics? UI gameplay in general, maybe? Oh, I wasn't even in graphics. Here we go. Graphics. Um, uh, clouds. Shadows. Clouds. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. Cool. Oh yeah, so dynamic pass is a new thing. Uh, so basically that's like, uh, if we just have a grass plot and a lot of our employees are walking over it, it'll make like a path visible. So I don't know if anyone's been walking over grass on my plot here, there might have been. No, because they all use my pathway. But if they do, it will start- Oh, actually, no, they have here. Yeah, yeah, you can see it there, that's, so that's what it does. Um, so, it, you know, it makes like a cars out a nice little pathway. Hang on, why am I doing this? Oh, uh, maybe the team leaders on these teams don't have- I don't know, whatever, except pull and close. It doesn't really matter. I can just do that. Um, oh, yeah, we haven't really been looking at deals. Print job. What do you need? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Hello? Why did this open? Didn't need to open. Um, cool. All right, is that literally the only deal we had? Hosting and printing. Yeah, I want to do hosting and printing. I mean, I guess we could do, like, development deals, but some support deals and development. I don't really want to do development stuff, though. Just the hosting and printing. That that That's our thing, you know? Get that pack. There we go. Oh, yeah, they're carving a path there, too. This building is getting so dirty now. We should probably put a door in the back and get another security guard, and maybe a door on this side as well. So we got one over there, which they are. Yeah, that's where all our couriers go. All right, so I think what we're going to do is wait for the next year. So it's nearly general. Oh, yes, we got the patent on that. Sweet. Wait for the next year. Uh, that's all marketed. That's great. 
All this is automated. I love, ah, oh, it's so good. We don't have to do all that. Really, the only thing I'm kind of doing at the moment now is Magic OS and the sort of uh, the patterns and stuff and the R&D, which I wish I could automate, but I don't think I can. I don't think there's any way I can do that. Um, so what we're going to want to do is build a new space for the game devs. Um, what is going on here? What is this? Is that just how snow is falling on this building? It's just not even? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to want to build a new space for the game dev. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's like melting away. Ah, cool. Very nice. Oh, someone's retired. Speaking of which, we should put more money into our uh, to bonds. Maybe not 158 million. Can I put money in? I still have not figured out how this works. Amount. I can invest in QHM or invest in YJD. Should we? Let's invest. Let's invest in. Hell. So this one is terrible. But if we buy low, you never know. Let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, ten million in JTJ to invest. And then maybe because QHM is on the way up, do ten no, let's do fifty million. In maybe that's not a good idea, but let's do it anyway. QHM investing. Okay, so that's how this works, I guess. So we'll see the change there. And then bonds will also put some money into bonds. Do maybe not 90 million, because that's basically all my money. Uh, let's do like 30 million. No, we'll do 50 million more into bonds. We could also withdraw currently 322 million from our bonds. So we, we still got a bunch of cash. It's just all stored away. All right, so once we go to January, we should be able to do some more R&D now. So let's uh, have a look. We've got 2005, there's research on the R&D team. There you go. Uh, research on the R&D team, research on the R&D team, research on the R&D team, and research on the R&D team. Good, so they're going to be busy for a while. The lawyers are still finishing off a couple of jobs. Let's just have a look at the legal work again, just so we can see. The lawyers four is the only people working on that. We get lawyers four and one on that, and we get lawyers three on that one. So then they're all helping each other out there. All right, so we just did a lot of put a lot of money into stuff here. Uh, kind of interested to see if, uh, oh, I don't know why, I don't know why I clicked on that. I mean, that button kind of looks like a stock button, but it's not. Do we have any change? Ooh, hello, we made a little bit of money on both of them. Might have been because I dumped a bunch of money in there, so then they're like, ooh, someone's buying, it must be good. All right, so then once this is done, there we go, patent that, I'm going to assign all my lawyers to this one. And then that should hopefully get done way quicker, because we've got so many lawyers on that. Get rid of that filter as well, so I can see everything again. Okay, cool. Magic OS, it's doing okay. These, I mean, I reckon we could probably end office magic marketing. Um, the others are still okay. The others are still okay. So we're gonna keep that going. There's all our beautiful, beautiful R&D. So we'll just minimize those. These guys would be so stressed every single January. They're like, oh boy, another January's rolled around again. Uh, can I? There's not. There's just not enough space in the world to have all of these here. Real shame. Um, all right. So, how are we doing? How's everybody? How are all? How is everything? How how are we doing? Employee benefits are all maxed. We're a good. I feel like we're a good company. You know. Uh, we do need more parking though. So I think what we're gonna do. I might expand uh, here to this plot because that's a whole plot. This plot is. We'll get rid of this entire building, uh, and then we will. Do a game studio over here, and maybe do multiple teams doing multiple different things. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Maybe try to do some automation. Hopefully get we'll hopefully get leaders that can automate and do the stuff. Because I, I I think what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up the teams. So we've got all the lead teams, and I'm gonna change those and just hire a leader that can do both meetings and all that. What is going on? Hang on. There's a lot of stuff. Burglars uh, left. Okay, another company has finished that before me. How could they have finished researching system before me? Oh, no, the pattern that I was doing from the last one. Okay, fair enough. I might have actually done it, but I, I didn't see if I hit it or not. We're losing money. I'm not happy about that. Uh, but we still have 39 million in cash, so it's probably fine. Cook is unable to find a stove. Really? Still? I would have thought the other cooks have left by now, because we have an hour grace period. Oh, we're like running out of food. That's good. I think. Yeah, there we go. We got food again. <laughs> I was gonna say, because I think that means at least we have the right number of cooks. Maybe we need a little bit more, but that's not too bad. This is already on iteration three, which is fantastic. These are all 2006. It's gonna be a big year. 
next year is going to be a big year. Thankfully, all five of those things are completely automated, so we can just like let that run. They will release. It will be beautiful. Um, but we will come back next time. I guess we'll do. I have to do. I have to do more building. I just do because uh, I hope you guys enjoy the building stuff because we need to do more of it. We need the game studio now. We, I think we now finally have enough lawyers. I will actually hire another twenty lawyers. I think. And I think, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to put them back into one team. Like I said, I'm going to go through and clean up all these teams because there's just so much stuff going on in here. It's just, with all the lead, separate leaders, it's just, I don't like it. We're going to, we're going to clean it up. We'll clean it up. We'll condense the teams back down. Hopefully the lawyers won't be too stressed with, like, having more people on the team but all doing one task. Because it's kind of ridiculous having, having micromanaging all the team tasks and all that. I don't know, we'll see how we go, but let me know in the comments down below because uh, we'll be doing... We need more parking. I think maybe I'll turn these into multi-stories over here. And so we have parking on this side of all the buildings as well. Expand that way, maybe more parking at the back. But um, until then, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.